Hello, my name is Julius Wilder. I am here to speak to Dr. Abhishek Shinoy, a 30 resident at UVA, about his recent review article on thromboelastography. So can you tell us a little bit about exactly what thromboelastography is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so thromboelastography is a viscoelastic test that measures the um, rate um, and strength of blood clot formation um, within a whole blood assay. Um, it actually uh, more closely represents in vivo hemostasis um, than our traditional measures of coagulation like PT, um, INR, and PTT. And, and so that's really interesting, and it's, it's not something that I think many of us are very familiar with. So how does it work exactly? How do you do it? Yeah, so thromboelastography, it's interesting. Um, so it's actually a machine, um, but essentially you take a small blood sample, about 0.36 uh, milliliters of blood, uh, place it in a cup, um, and a cup slowly rotates um, within the machine. Uh, you place a wire sensor within the blood sample, um, and as the cup rotates, um, a blood clot actually starts to form um, between the cup and the wire sensor. Very interesting. And, and so when you think about this technology, um, where is it used in terms of application right now in hepatology? So uh, within the field of hepatology, it's used um, uh, prior to invasive procedures in cirrhosis. Um, it's used sometimes um, to uh, risk stratify patients with GI bleeding, whether it's non-portal hypertension related or portal hypertension related bleeding, um, as well as to kind of look at patients um, and their uh, kind of overall coagulation uh, in terms of their uh, presentation with acute liver failure. Well, thank you so much for that information on this really interesting technology, and thank you so much for joining us. For more information, please go to cldlearning.com.